Next, I'm going to discuss about the Dryan method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here after that, coincide. So I have taken five integer variable. First is a dot r. There I have given the size 25. So you can enter maximum 25 elements into the array. So if you want to enter more than 25, so you have to increase the size of array. Next is i variable. Next to uh, j. Next n. And on uh, next temp. So right here see out. So what do I mean? double code? So this uh, display into the output screen. Enter the number. And whatever I am going to enter. So that received by n. So right here I am going to enter n value 5. So right here see out function again. So what do I mean double code? So this all display into the uh, output screen. Enter the array elements. And slash n for new line. And add your i value start from 0. And check the condition 0 less than 5. Condition is true. So that coincide. So add your c, to c in function. So you have to enter a double r of 0 position some elements. So a double r of 0. Here I am going to enter 11. Now here after that go up and increase the value of i. So i become 1. Check the condition 1 less than 5. Condition is true. So a double out of 1 position. I am going to enter 9. Here after i gonna increase by 1. So i become 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than 5. Condition is true. So let's enter a double out of 2 position. Oh, new elements. So I'm going to enter 12 at here. And I gonna increase by 1. So I become 3 now. Check the condition. 3 less than 5. Condition is true. So at here I'm going to enter 3 position new elements. 8. I gonna increase by 1. So I become 4 now. Check the condition. 4 less than 5. Condition is true. So let's enter 8 double out of 4 position new elements. 7. Here after I gonna increase by 1, so I become 5 now. That check the condition 5 less than 5, condition is not true, so that not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. Here after I value start from 0 again, uh, that check the condition 0 less than uh, 5, condition is true, so that coincide. So at a double out of 0 position value go to 10. So a double out of 0 position 11, so 11 value go to 10. So at your new array elements are, so this is a double r, the size I have given 25, so the index character is 0 to 24, so at your this is our 0 index, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. So right here, elements are 11, 9, 12, 11, 9, 12, 8 and 7. So right here, 8 or all of 0 position value go to uh, 10 and next is uh, j equal to i minus 1 so i value is 0 0 minus 1 j become minus 1 here after that check the condition 10 less than a double out of 0 so 10 less than j value is now minus 1 so less than a, a double out of minus 1 so no any elements and at here minus 1 greater than equal to 0 so the condition is false so if you are using uh, and operator so if this condition and this condition 
is true the, then the output come true or any other case like true and false the output come false false and true the output come false false and false the output come false so this is condition is false so output is false so that not go inside here after uh, tan is now 11 so a double out of minus 1 plus 1 so this value is 0 so tan value go to a double out of 0 so 11 go here yeah. now here after that go up and increase the value of i so i become 1 check the condition 1 less than 5 condition is true so that go inside so a double out of 1 position value go to tan so 1 position is 9 9 go to tan and j equal to i minus 1. So 1 minus 1. i value is 1. 1 minus 1 j become 0. So at your while tan less than equal to a double r of 0. So tan value is now 9. And or less than a double r of 0, 11. So this condition is true. 9 or less than a double r of 0 means 11. And or 0 greater than 0 condition is true so that coincide so at a, a double out of 0 position value go to a double out of 0 plus 1 means a double out of 0 position value go to a double out of 1 so at here 11 move to this point and next to j equal to i minus j equal to j minus 1 so j value is now 0 0 minus 1 it become minus 1. So here after that go check the condition. So minus 1 greater than equal to 0. The condition is not true. So if any condition is false, then the output come false. So that not go inside. So at a time value equal to a double r of minus 1 plus 1. So time value go to minus 1 plus 1. So this come 0. So time value go to a double r of 0. So 9 come to there a double out of zero. Oh, so I do new array elements are nine, eleven, twelve, eight, and seven. So I do this is zero index one. 2, 3, and this is 4. So here after that, go up and uh, increase the value of i. So i become 2. So check the condition 2 less than 5. In value, I have given 5. The condition is true. So 8 over all 2 position value go to 10. So 2 position we have over 12. So 12 go to 10. Now j equal to j minus 1, oh, sorry j equal to i minus 1, so 2 minus 1 j become 1. And while tan less than a double r of 1, so tan value is now 12 and a double r of 1 position value is now 11. So 12 less than 11, so the condition is false. And at here j greater than equal to 0, 1 greater than equal to 0, condition is true. So at here false and true, the output go false. So that not go inside. So at here tan value go to a double r of j plus 1, j value is now 1. So 1 plus 1 or tan value go to a double r of 2. So 2m go to 2. So no any changes. Here after that go up and increase the value of i. So I become 3 now. Check the condition 3 less than 5. Condition is true. So 8 will have 3 position value go to 10. 3 position 8 is there. So 8 go to 10. And now uh, j equal to j minus 1, i minus 1. So i value is now 3, 3 minus 1, j become 2. So at your while, tan less than 8 over r of j. So tan less than 8 over r of 2. So tan value is now 8 and 8 over r of or 2 12 so 8 
less than to n, condition is true, and uh, to greater than or equal to zero, condition is true. So that coincide. So at a, a double R of j means a double R of two position value go to a double R of two plus one three. So a double R of two position value go to a double R of three. So two position we have uh, eight. Oh sorry, twelve. Twelve go to a double R of three. And j equal to j minus one. So j value is not two. Two minus one j become one. So here after that go up again and uh, check the condition. One greater than equal to zero. Condition is true. And tan less than a double R of j. So tan value is now eight. And a double R of four uh, j value is now one. So eight less than a double R of one. So condition is true. Eight less than eleven. So both condition is true, so that coincide. So I do new array elements are so this is nine, eleven, and I do twelve move to this point, eight of out of three, and this is seven. So this is a zero index. One, two, three, four. So I have a double R of j. So j value is now one. So one and one plus one. So a double R of one position value go to a double R of two. So one position is now eleven. So eleven move to this point. And j equal to j minus one. So one minus one, the value comes zero. Now here after, so this is a blank. Now here after that, go check the condition. Zero greater zero equal to zero. Condition is true. And tan less than a double r of zero. So tan value is now eight. Eight less than a double r of zero. So eight less than nine. Condition is true. So at a a double r of zero position, value go to A double R of zero plus one means one position. So nine move to this point. And here after j go to j minus one. So zero minus one the value come minus one. So that go up check the condition minus one greater than equal to zero condition is so not true so false. If any condition false the output come false. So at a time value go to a double R of minus one plus one. Uh, so this value comes zero. So tan value go to a double r of zero. So eight go to a double r of zero. So at here eight come. So this is nine and eight. So new array elements are. Eight. Nine, eleven, twelve, and in last seven. So this is a zero index. One, two, three, four. So here after that, go up and increase the value of i. So i become four. Check the condition. Four less than five. Condition is true. So a double R of four position value go to ten. So four position we have or uh, seven seven go to ten. And here after or uh, j go to i minus one. So four minus one j become three. Now here after while ten less than a double R of j. So ten value is now seven. And a double R of three is or to have seven less than twelve. Condition is true, so that coincide. Oh, sorry, seven less than twelve, so condition is true. And at here j greater than equal to zero, three greater than equal to zero, so the condition is true. True and true, the output come true. So at here a double R of j value equal to a double R of j plus one. So j value is now three. Three value go to or uh, three plus one, so four. So three position we have or uh, 
12. So 12 moves to this point. So I have 12 come. Now here after j equal to j minus 1. So j value is now 3, 3 minus 1, j become 2. Now that go check the condition. So tan less than a double r of 2. So a double r of 2 position 11, 7 less than 11 condi condition is uh, true. And uh, j value is now 2, 2 greater than equal to 0. Condition is both condition is true, then output come to so that a, a double r of j plus 1 equal to a double r of j. So a double r of 2 value go to a double r of 2 plus 1, 3. So a double r of 2 is now 11. So 11 move to a double r of 3. So that here 11 comes to a double r of 3. Now here after j equal to j minus 1. So or 2 minus 1, j become 1. So that go up and check the condition. Or temp less than a double r of 1. So a double r of 1 position 9. And uh, stamp 7. 7 less than 9. Condition is true. And 1 greater than equal to 0. Both condition is true. So at here. A double out of 1 position value go to A double out of 1 plus 1. So 1 position we have 9. 9 move to A double out of 2. So this position on 9 come. And J equal to J minus 1. So 1 minus 1 J become 0. Now here after that go up and check the condition 0 equal to 0 condition is true and tamp less than a double out of 0. So tamp is now 7, 7 less than a double out of 0, 8. 7 less than 8 condition is true and 0 equal to 0 condition is true. So a double out of 0 position value equal to a double out of 0 plus 1. So 8 moves to a 0 plus 1 means a 1 position. So add here 8 come. And here after j equal to j minus 1. So 0 minus 1, the output come j value minus 1. So after that go up, check the condition minus 1 greater than equal to 0. Condition is false. So if any condition false, that all false. So that not go inside. So at here, time value go to a double out of minus 1 plus 1. So time value go to minus 1 plus 1 means 0. So time value go to a double out of 0. So 7 comes to this point. So here after that go up and increase the value of i. So i become 4 to 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5. Condition is not true. So that not go inside. So control comes to this point. So at your see out. So whatever in double code. So this all display into the output screen. Sorted array. And in new line. So for i start from 0. And check the condition 0 less than 5. Condition is true. So that go inside. So in new line that print the value of a double out of zero position. So at here new array elements are so seven come to zero position. Next eight come. Next nine. Next eleven. And next twelve. So this is a 0, position 1, 2, 3, and 4. So right here, this on display, a double out of 0 position value 7. Next, I gonna increase by 1, so I become 1 now. Check the condition, 1 less than 5, condition is 2, slash, and so cursor comes to the new line, and print, a double out of 1 position value 8. So I gonna increase by 1, so I become 2 now. Check the condition, 2 less than 5, condition is 2. So that coincides. So at here, a double out of two position value that print. So seven print. Oh sorry, nine print. I gonna increase by one. So I become three now. Check the condition three less than five. Condition is true. So that coincides. So at here, that print a double out of three position value eleven. I gonna increase by one. So I become four now. Check the condition four less than five. Condition is true. So new line that print a double out of four position value. So that print twelve. Here after I gonna increase by one. So I become five. 
check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is not true so that not go inside so here after that auto run for loop and uh, next that auto main function so final output we have 7 8 9 11 and 12 so this is a sorted elements in ascending auto and uh, this is all a dry method of this program so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so thanks for watching see you next week